my pigeon peas. Some people call it Congo peas. So this is one of my pigeon peas that I start indoors. Why I start the pigeon peas indoor? Because the pigeon peas is a tropical plant and the pigeon peas rather a lot of sun. They cannot stand cold weather at all. So if you're trying to grow pigeon peas and you live in a place where you have short growing season, you get frost, you got to deal with the frost, you got to start pigeon peas indoor. The reason why you're going to start pigeon peas indoor because they take at least six months to start producing. So if you start them indoors and take them out in the spring and you try to start them outdoor, they're not going to produce before the spring, before the frost. All right, so I'm, I'm starting them indoors and they're doing wonderful. This is one of them growing right here. I try to grow them by a window and I take the way they do pretty well. So if you have pigeon peas and you wanna or congo beans and you wanna plant them, make sure you start them indoors that you could have the you can get the right length of time for them to produce. Because pigeon peas produce a lot of peas. Okay, so you wanna start them indoor and bring them out in the spring after the frost the last frost you make sure you bring them out you could keep them in a big enough container or you could plant them in the ground all right so this is pigeon peas this is how pigeon peas looking i'm gonna give you guys i'm gonna be talking about this pigeon peas plant that i have here it's about 10 feet tall and it's about five feet wide, maybe more. But this pigeon peas plant, I started indoors and now it's almost a year. And this thing is still not producing. And now we're in September. And I'm getting worried because I really would like it to produce some pear, some flowers that I can get some pigeon peas. But shout out to Jim's because I was talking just Jim's Jim's Entertainment. Shout out to you because what I'm going and do, I'm going and actually do something that you told me that I need to try. And in this bucket, we have this is a okra, the petal for the okra plant, and we have dandelion, and we have some other flowers. Basically. James told me that a good thing to do is to use dandelion flowers, soak it in water, and then wet the plant with it. Because what could happen is it can make the plant, it can make the plant produce flowers. The enzyme inside of it gonna make the plant produce flowers. So I'm just trying because I need to find some nice peas this year so yes this i've been soaking this for six hours now so what i'm going and do now i'm going and wet the plant with them and see if it can cause it to produce flowers so yes guys this is just a, a experiment this is just a test so bear with me so now i'm gonna take this water and i'm gonna wet it i'm gonna throw it right to the root and then I'm gonna leave it there. So let's cross our fingers and see if we can get some flowers from this plant. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys, welcome to Plant a Garden TV. How are you guys doing? Do you guys see what I see here? You guys see what I'm seeing here? <laughs> How are you guys doing today? All right guys, this is a pigeon peas plant. It's a tropical plant, it love plenty to hot sun if you want to grow this plant in a place where they have cold temperature you will definitely got to start it indoors or you got yes indoors and bring it out in the spring early i plant this plant indoor i started indoors last year around november december 
and it produced, it started growing, it was struggling, but at the same time, it was holding up. I bring it out and I transplant it down. You see, I'm, I'm naturally climbing off a ladder, guys. Off of a ladder, you see? A ladder. Yes, yeah, so what happened is this plant, I plant, I take it out the container and I bring it and I plant it down inside here. If you notice what I was feeding it with is all kind of leaf and the, this is what I was feeding it with. And the plant grow like a boss. It's like a monster, 11 feet tall and about eight feet wide, guys. I actually have to use a ladder to go up on this thing, okay? So what I'm saying, guys, I'm so excited because why I'm so excited is because now I'm seeing pads. I'm seeing pads. So now, pretty soon, I will be seeing flowers. So sometimes we got to have faith. I want to do a video explaining what I use to put around this plant to keep it, to make it push these flowers. James Entertainment introduced me to a, some flowers that I should use and I use some extra flowers for myself. And now I'm seeing this thing blooming. So I'm trying to figure out if it's the flowers make it bloom or it was just uh, it was just time because this thing was here for almost 10 months and i bring it out in march april and this is the result guys this is actually the result yeah <laughs> i'm so grateful man so guys gardening don't give up in gardening man gardening could be very challenging but don't give up. Look all the way up there. And you're going to see. It start body. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm grateful. So this is what my biggest surprise in 2023 in garden season. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Peace.